Alrighty, everyone, this here is Dave. Dave really likes his new Stratzwagen M4257 for some f***ing reason, so he really wants to try 3-marking it before Christmas to show off to his clanmates and tier 6 skirmishes. However, Dave has never really figured out how 3-marks are calculated and has only really gotten them by accident until now. Don't worry, Dave, that's where I come in. I sort of kind of understand this topic and I'm happy to help you out. Let's go mark that Stratzwagen. First things first. Marks of Excellence are calculated in a similar way to Mastery Badges. To get a Mark of Excellence, you must be using a vehicle tier 5 or higher and perform well on a consistent basis within said vehicle. Dave is a f***ing master of the Stritzwagen, and he's playing a tier 6 Swedish Premium Medium tank, so he's good to go. His scores will be compared with other players that have played in the same tank over the last two weeks. The better others are doing in that tank, the harder it'll be for Dave. Another way to put it, the less popular a vehicle is in random battles, the easier it will be to mark. So the Stritzwagen will be much easier to mark than a T3485M or an Object 140, for example. If you want to mark a tank, particularly if you're new to trying to mark vehicles, pick a tank you're both interested in and are confident you are superior to the majority of other players in. A good rule of thumb is that the less often you see a tank inside of a random battle, the easier it will be to mark. So lower tiers, non-premium, not very well-known tanks. So pretty much anything on the German tech tree. The only thing that affects your mark are your damage and assisted damage each battle. After the battle, your damage caused and damage assisted will be totaled, and that number is compared to the average score of all players who have been playing that vehicle in the past 14 days. The assistance damage, however, is divided into two more pieces, assistance damage by spotting and assistance damage by destroying enemy tracks. Each battle, only the higher number of these two types of assistance damage will be counted. For example, if Dave gets 500 spotting damage and only 150 tracking damage, only the 500 spotting damage will count towards his total, and not 650 total. If Dave had gotten 501 tracking damage against the 500 spotting, though, then the 501 tracking damage would count towards his total, and the 500 spotting damage would, well, not exist. Pretty much all of the assistance damage you get towards the lower of the two types doesn't exist when it comes to mark calculation. Damage itself is consistent, though. More damage is always a good idea. So, the next problem. If Dave did 5,000 damage in his first game and got an ace tanker, why isn't he already 3 marked? Well, marks are calculated based on something called a global moving average, which is the technical term for an average. Pretty much, the game totals the average damage and assistance damage you've done in the most recent 100 battles in a specific tank. It then compares this score to the average of everyone else who has played that vehicle in the past 14 days. If Dave hasn't already played 100 battles, each battle he has not played in is accounted at zero. Ideally, it will be easiest for Dave if he manages to get his marks at exactly 100 battles played in the tank. If Dave only plays 60 battles, 40 potential battles are lost for calculation. If Dave plays 105 battles, his most recent 5 battles, from 101 to 105, will replace his first 5 battles from 1 to 5. So not only will he need to be increasing his average overall, but he will need to beat his previous scores as well as increase the average. This does not mean passing 100 games will make it impossible to mark, as chances are that Dave will have gotten much better in his Stritzwagen after more battles in the vehicle. Finally, let's go over the marks themselves. The most marks you can have on the barrel of any tank is three. Each nation has a different style of mark. For example, the German tanks have three straight thin lines as the marks of their vehicles, a ring that goes around the entirety of the tank. So a three mark is actually really a nine mark on a German tank. For Russian tanks, there is a Soviet star on the barrel. And for Italian tanks, there is literally a miniature version of a tank on the barrel because Wargaming ran out of ideas. You get the first mark for having an average combined damage and assistance in your most recent 100 battles in a tank tier 5 or above, higher than 65% of other players in the past 14 days. So if Dave wants to get one mark, his total recent average has to beat 65% of other players who played the Stritzwagen. For two marks, it's 85%, and for three marks, it's 95%. You can check your current progress by going to your service record, vehicles, selecting the vehicle in question, and selecting statistics. Then mouse over the mark of excellence to see your percentage. Once you get a mark of excellence, even if you drop back below the percentage threshold, you will not lose your marks. So if you're like me, as soon as you 3-mark a tank, you'll start sucking a lot more in the tank due to sheer laziness. Then people can be impressed with you for having 3 marks on the Batch at 25T, even though you play like an idiot and get yourself killed within the first 2 minutes of the game. So that's everything for the mechanics. It's both extremely complicated and yet extremely simple, so I hope that helped. However, before I leave you all, there's a couple ways that you can make this Mark of Excellence grind a bit easier, and because the comment actually requested how to mark instead of why marks exist and how they're calculated, I'll give a couple gameplay tips. You should be good in the tank you're trying to mark. That's kind of self-explanatory. A good way to find out what you're doing wrong is to look for reviews on that specific tank. Literally just search World of Tanks and then insert the tank name and then review and you can find a ton. The only reason I don't make those videos is because of how many other people have already made videos on that topic. There's so many of those videos out there, it's ridiculous. 
pretty much in all tanks, but in slow heavy tanks and medium tanks especially, try to go for as many tracking shots as possible. In light tanks, you can get a lot of spotting damage, but we, you can't really do that in heavy tanks. Instead, in heavy tanks, you really want to focus on getting as many tracking shots as possible in order to get your assistance by tracking up, as that'll add more to the mark than spotting damage in most battles. Don't focus so much on stealing kills, as kills and experience do nothing for your mark. If you are unable to get the mark you want, wait two weeks. Maybe the competition will get much easier, making it a simple thing to three-mark your vehicle, because every two weeks, the scores of other players will reset. If you want an easier way to track your marks besides going to the statistics all the time, get the Marks of Excellence Calculator mod. This is usually available in most popular World of Tanks mod packs, but I won't provide a direct link to the mod website because, let's be honest, mod websites are a maze of viruses and all that fun stuff. Instead, I'll provide a link to the World of Tanks mod listing on the official World of Tanks site. That'll be in the description, and hopefully that'll help out. The two mod packs that I would recommend, one of them is Solo's mod pack, which is what I use for my mods. Uh, I definitely recommend that for those who are interested and new to mod packing. It will pretty much do all of the hard part for you, and you can fully customize it however you want, and then whenever they have an update, it will alert you on your computer, and you could be like, yep, I want to update. The only thing besides that is Aslan's, well, the only good one besides that is Aslan's mod pack, and Aslan's mod pack is slightly more complicated, but it's usually a bit faster on the update when World of Tanks updates their game. The update for the mod pack will come out a little bit faster than Solo's, and it's slightly more customizable but I find it slightly less user-friendly. Besides those tips, just play as best as you can. Two of my most popular videos are tips and tricks videos, so if you want overall gameplay techniques, check those out. I wish Dave and all of you the best of luck in marking your tanks, and happy tank. Really quick, my channel has been increasing a lot in popularity in the past few months, and I just wanted to say I really appreciate that. Uh, I'm sorry I don't make videos more often, I just had finals week, so hopefully I'll be releasing at least one other video prior to the holiday season ending. But if not, Happy New Year, Merry Christmas to those who celebrate, Happy Holidays overall. But yeah, if you guys have any questions, leave it in the comments. I promise I will read them all. I'll try my best to answer any questions, and I appreciate all the feedback. And if you have any suggestions for future videos, let me know. Finally, I realize that this particular video is very niche and that you'll only really be looking for it if you're searching for a direct tutorial on how to mark tanks. Uh, for those of you who are here just because I'm an entertaining person sometimes, I swear I will be uploading more entertaining videos soon. I will be doing a bunch of clan highlights as well, even though the tutorials are a lot more popular than the highlight videos. Uh, the next video I'm planning on making is going to be a guide to being a combat officer and calling during strongholds and clan events, so hopefully that'll be more helpful for a lot more people. I just wanted to do this one so I could prove that I do in fact read the comments and requests. Okay, now I swear I'm done. <laughs>